Hello learners, how are you? I hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to start part 2 of the chapter marketing class 12th business studies. In the previous part we had discussed about basic concepts of marketing such as meaning of market, what is marketer, what can be marketed, what is marketing management and various philosophies of marketing. So, let us have a quick revision on the philosophies of marketing before we proceed further. Philosophies of marketing, first philosophy is the production concept. In the earlier days of the industrial revolution, the number of producers were limited, limited supply of industrial products and they were not able to match the demand. So, anyone who was able to produce goods could easily find buyers for the same. Thus, availability and affordability of the product were considered to be the key to the success of the organization. Next concept, product concept. With the passage of time, the supply improved, customers started looking for products that were superior in performance, quality and features. Therefore, emphasis was shifted from quantity to quality of the product. Selling concept. Because of increase in scale of production and competition among the sellers, product quality and availability alone did not ensure survival as a large number of firms were now selling products of similar quality. Hence, firms must undertake aggressive selling and promotional efforts to make customers buy their products. Marketing concept. It implies that firm can achieve its goals by identifying the needs of the customers and satisfying them better than competitors. Customer satisfaction is the precondition for realizing the firm's goal and objectives. Because of prerequisite for the success of any organization, therefore, it is required to understand and respond to customer needs social or societal marketing concept. Under this concept, customer satisfaction is supplemented by social welfare. Some products bring harmful effect on the environment, so these should not be supplied. It pays attention to the social, ethical and ecological aspects of marketing. So learners, after this quick revision, let us proceed further and the topic which we are going to discuss is functions of marketing or functions of marketing activities. So, functions of marketing starts with gathering and analyzing market information. One of the important functions of a marketer is to gather and analyze market information. This is necessary to identify the needs of customers and various decisions for the successful marketing of the products and services. This is important for marketer to do systematic investigation of facts, SWOT analysis, identify needs and information with respect to identifying customer needs and wants, identifying buying motives, choice of brand, packaging and media used for promotion. Next point, marketing planning. The aim of marketing planning is to develop a complete market plan so that the marketing objectives can be achieved. It also must specify the action programs. For example, if a marketer aims at enhancing its market share in the country in the next three years, then his marketing plan should include various important aspects like plan for increasing level of production, promotion of products, etc. Another point is product designing and development. It involves decisions regarding the product to be manufactured and its attributes such as its quality considerations, packaging, models and variations to be introduced etc. Product designing and development is done by anticipating customer needs and developing new products or improving existing products to satisfy these needs. A good design can improve performance of a product and also give 
it a competitive advantage in the market. Next point is standardization and grading. Standardization, it refers to the process of setting certain standards for a product on the basis of its desired qualities. For example, ISI mark for electrical goods. Grading, it refers to the division of products into classes made up of units possessing similar features. Grading is necessary for products which are not produced according to the predetermined specifications such as in case of agricultural products. The next function of marketing is packaging and labeling. Packaging, it refers to the designing of package that is the wrapper or a container for a product. Packaging protects the product from damage, risks of spoilage, breakage and leakage. It also makes buying convenient for customers and serve as a promotional tool. Labeling. It refers to the designing of a label to be put on the package. It may vary from a simple tag to complex graphics. So, we will study about in detailed manner about packaging and labeling later in the chapter. Next function is branding. It is very important to decide that whether to sell the product in its generic name or in a brand name. Branding involves decisions whether each product will have a separate brand name or same brand's name to be used for all the products. Because branding helps in product differentiation, it builds customer's loyalty and promote its sales. We will learn more about branding further in the chapter. Next function of marketing is customer support services. It is very important to develop customer support services like after sales services, handling complaints, adjustment, maintenance, technical services, etc. All these services aim at providing maximum satisfaction to the customers which is key to marketing success in modern days. Another function of marketing is pricing. Pricing is an important factor affecting the success or failure of a product. Promotion, it involves informing customers about the firm's product, its features, etc. The four important elements of promotion includes advertising, personal selling, sales promotion and public relations. Physical distribution, it involves physical movement of product from where it is produced to a place where it is required by customers for their consumption or use. Transportation, it includes physical movement of goods from one place to other. It is considered an important activity in the physical movement of products as it helps in transporting products to widespread and geographically separated places from the place where it is needed. Storage or warehouse. Usually there is a time gap between the production or procurement of goods and their sale or use. It may be because of irregular demand for the products. In order to maintain smooth flow of products in the market, there is a need of proper storage of the products to protect them from unavoidable delays in delivery or meet out contingencies in the market. So, learners, these are the basic functions of marketing or various activities performed in marketing and these activities are generally performed by marketer. We will discuss many of these activities in a detailed manner later in the chapter. Moving further, next topic which we are going to start is marketing mix. So, let us understand what is marketing mix. There are large number of factors affecting marketing decisions. These can be broadly divided into two categories controllable factors and non-controllable factors. The controllable variables become marketing tools which are constantly shaped and reshaped by the marketing managers to achieve their marketing objectives. 
the combination of variables chosen by the firm to prepare its market offering is called marketing mix. Therefore, marketing mix can be defined to the ingredients or a set of tools or the variables which the firm uses to pursue its marketing objective in a target manner and a marketer mixes these tools to prepare the market offering in order to interact with the particular market. Next we have elements of marketing mix. There are four main elements of marketing mix as classified by McCrethy and they are also known as four P's of marketing that is product, price, place or physical distribution and promotion. We will discuss about product, price, place and promotion in detail now. The first element of marketing mix is product mix. Product mix includes all the features of product or service to be offered for sale. The concept of product mix include the extended product or what is offered to the customers by way of after sale services, handling complaints, availability of spare parts, etc. Product is a mixture of tangible and intangible attributes which are capable of being exchanged for a value with ability to satisfy customer needs. There can be three types of benefits a customer may seek to satisfy from the purchase of a product which is functional benefit, psychological benefits and social benefits. So, products can be classified into consumer products used for final consumption and industrial products used to produce consumer products. The major elements of product mix are branding, packaging and labeling. We will discuss these three elements later in the chapter. Second element of marketing mix is price mix. Price simply means value in lieu of product or service received by seller from the buyer. The marketers have not only to decide about the objectives of price setting but to analyze the factors determining the price and fix a price for the firm's product. Place mix. Place mix or physical distribution includes various decisions or activities regarding the distribution of products. Activities such as choice of channel of distribution, whether wholesaler, retailers are to be used or not, physical movement of the products from producer to consumers that how it will go on, various activities such as storage, transportation or inventory management etc. Last element of marketing mix we have is promotion mix. Promotion mix means informing the customers about the products and persuading or convincing them to buy the same. Promotion mix generally have four elements, advertising, sales promotion, personal selling and public relations. We will discuss about all these elements in detail later in the chapter. So learners, in today's session, we had studied about various functions of marketing and marketing mix and its elements. In functions of marketing, we had discussed about how information is gathered and analyzed, how products are being designed, how customer services are being planned and various other activities performed by the marketer. So, let me give you some questions for the practice which will tell you that how well you have understood the topic. So, the first question is product is bundle of utilities, defend or refute the statement. Next question, what is marketing mix? Explain its elements. Next question, product is a mixture of tangible and 
intangible attributes discuss so these are the three practice questions which has been given to you and i hope you have enjoyed the today's session and we will continue the chapter in next session till then goodbye take care